So remember, if a reaction's at equilibrium, that means that the equilibrium constant K is going to be related to the concentrations of my products and reactants, which comes from the equilibrium expression. If we have a large value of K, say greater than 10 to the 10th, that means that the reaction goes to virtually to completion, which means that almost all of the reactant has gone to make product. Likewise, if we have a small K, say less than 10 to the minus 10th, that means the reaction does not really occur to any significant extent. It means that the reactants really do not turn into products. So if I give you this reaction and I say it's at equilibrium, we understand that the equilibrium expression for this reaction is going to be equal to K. But if I then tell you that K is equal to 4.7 times 10 to the minus third, that means that the concentration of NO must be very small compared to the concentration of N2 and O2. So that means that very little of my reactants, N2 and O2, have gone to make NO my product. So I would expect inside of the reaction mixture that there would be very little of my NO present. So if I give you this second reaction, and I tell you it's also at equilibrium, once again we understand that there's an equilibrium expression for this reaction, and that's going to be equal to its K value. But in this case, K is relatively large, 4.7 times 10 to the third. That means that the concentration of CH3OH is large compared to the concentration of CO and H2. So that means we would expect very little of our reactants, CO and H2, to be present, and almost all of our um, products to be made. So we would expect there to be mostly CH3OH and very little CO and H2 present. And that means that the reaction has gone virtually to completion.